Hello, everybody. Welcome to Through the Mist, episode 23, I believe. I hopefully remembered that correctly. Uh, mm -hmm. Just as a quick recap. Well, first of all, um, welcome back, Mana. <laughs> but we are missing one Adela today. So uh, it's just, it's not a, a streaming day here if we're not missing somebody. Um, <laughs> But as a quick recap, uh, last episode you had all met the uh, camp of Cal Caliban who lives beneath the city of Paradon. Uh, you had learned that these people are essentially um, humans or, or demi-humans demi that are born with some kind of mutation and therefore um, in Paradon, uh, parents who want their child to survive, uh, often take them to this camp or find a person who will take them to this camp. And so there is this, I don't want to call it thriving camp of Caliban beneath the city, but it's, as you went and explored, there's definitely um, a good number of them and they live in essentially a, well, what appeared to be some kind of um, ruined city beneath um, just kind of off of the sewers, but yet it didn't seem to belong there. Almost like the 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 area had been added to the the sewers rather than it being um, part of the original structure. Uh, so speaking with some of the people, you met Matthew, who is an older fellow, and gave you some of the history of the area as well as remembering when the jackal wares attacked. Um, he was pretty young when that happened but he was alive then uh you didn't find any signs and they didn't know of any incursions of the jackal wares into the sewers and they're not sure why the mariketh queen who you were sent down here to find would have this jawbone that imprisoned them previously um Wanting to go and speak with the queen, uh, Matthew seemed a little uncomfortable with that. Like, it, it's something that people don't tend to do and come back unchanged from, at least in some way. Or he even mentioned that a lot of people that go looking for her just never come back um, as they are made. They, are, they stay for dinner. Let's put it that mm -hmm. way. Um, so... Uh, his son, Yona, and the, the camp's the scout, um, Kalen, told you that they would lead you to meet the queen. However, they also mentioned that there is a creature running around in the area that the queen has been looking for. And it might be a good idea to find that creature and bring it to her as some kind of like offering or gift to kind of appease her volatile nature. Um, as you headed out, uh, you went down the sewers that you were heading down originally, and you noticed they also changed. They became kind of a different uh, style of structure, um, even though they are still kind of a sewer um, that just doesn't seem to have any water running through it at the time. Uh, and I believe it was Lyra, even though, Mana, you weren't here, um, had noticed that there were some, uh, there was a shadow that was kind of, pacing ahead of the group before you met the Caliban and that shadow was still there when you returned and so you kind of followed it for a bit and then I think it was uh I think it was Lilith that kind of like called it out and it went into hiding in a tube uh it was probably some kind of drain tube or something um and so Sorry if I'm wrong on this, but I'm pretty sure it was Dizzy went up to it with some food and was trying to coax it out. As it stuck its head out, Lilith snagged it by the scruff. It began keening in this high-pitched screeching noise, at which point you all notice that from other drainage tubes, more of these creatures began to stick their heads out and kind of lower themselves onto the ground or begin crawling on the walls. So with that, I'm going to ask you all to go ahead and roll for initiative. Great. Just uh, don't forget to click on your token first. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Boop. I really don't know why it rolls twice. That is so weird. We need a mouse. <laughs> 
initiative. There we go. Hmm. Why? Mm. Why do I not? There we go. And let me roll for Lilith, because I think I have the power to do that. <laughs> Oh, I also rolled twice. Look at me, look at me. Okay, so I'm just going to change. Um, Twiggy got a 23 originally. And Lilith got a 9. And fix this real quick. All right, so Twiggy. Um, this, this screeching, keening noise comes out of the mouth of the one that Lilith has snagged by the neck. Uh, she it looks like she's dragging it out of the tube. And as it did that, one from above, uh, kind of above Lyra and Dizzy, has emerged and is on the ceiling. Uh, so that is this one here on the map. Um, I just wanted to put it there so that you saw it. But you also see further down, so down here towards Kaelin and Yona, uh, there are some others that are peeking their heads out. Just so you're aware of the situation, actually, I'll do this. Uh, I'm going to put a marker. Let's do the blue one. The blue marker shows they're crawling on the ceiling. Okay. What do you do? Well, I mean, I'm, I'm only into like the third stanza of the winds of the long winter. Right. Low cost, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, they haven't attacked yet. They haven't. And this, this is a long song. And I mean, 667 stanzas, correct. Yeah, yeah. and I have practiced you know, for at least 1,200 years to perfect this, and uh, I'm not about to let these weird spider people get in the way of my music. Uh, I'm going to continue playing. Okay. And uh, kind of maybe get mid. How far am I from the ceiling? How high do you want to be from the ceiling? <laughs> equidistant from the floor of the ceiling. Okay, so you're, uh, the ceiling's about 15 feet up, so you're about seven and a half feet. Does that sound good? That's perfect. Okay. Uh, that way you get the perfect acoustics. Um, I think that, that area where I'm at is perfect. Yeah. Do you want to hold any actions? Do you want to dodge? I will dodge. Okay. So All I right. I people throwing things uh, when I am playing this particular dirge. I mean... As they should, they're they're throwing all of these gifts your direction for being That's so. True. I mean, yeah. as is tradition. Right. Yeah. So Lyra, uh, Twiggy continues to play this high pitched song. Uh, you've kind of gotten what? used to it. Um, you notice that. Uh, so obviously, Lil is, is dragging this creature out, uh, you, and you're starting to get a good look at it. But the one that crawls out from the hole above you really gives you a much better look, and it's kind of a, a pale gray skinned creature. Um, it looks almost like it has a carapace, but it's kind of flowing, almost like it it's skin too. So it's it's difficult to tell, um, and its its joints are very segmented. Uh, it reminds you kind of a, like a spider person, yet s very humanoid at the same time. Okay. Um, I mean, is it still screaming? The one that, that Lil Lilith is holding is still screaming. The one above you does not appear to be, um, although as it opens its, its maw, you do see like several uh, pointed, jagged teeth as it kind of hisses down at all of you. No, Lyra doesn't like that. Um, as and, as it opens its jaw, um, Lyra's just gonna throw a dagger right at it. Okay, as it's hissing. <laughs> and just to clarify for uh, Dizzy and Lyra, you are not because it's on the ceiling. You are not adjacent to it. You are not okay. engaged. Okay. Okay. So you do not have disadvantage on this ranged attack. Go ahead and roll it. And I'll Oof. look and see what they're... Oh, I'm pretty sure... Yep, yeah, that one's going to miss. Uh, it it <laughs> just, like, climbs out, hisses at you, and you, like, it sees it coming, and it 
turns its head so that your dagger hits the rock above it, the stone, and then clatters down by your feet. Okay, can she use her two weapon fighting though and try to? You yeah, know, yeah. If you want to throw pick, that second pick it one, get up and throw the other one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Here Much better. Go. Okay. Oh, I need to get a throwing uh, dagger an HP up. tracker up easy. here. <laughs> All right, go ahead and roll damage on that one. Okay. Where's my damage? There it is. Does that include your sneak attack? It... No. Um, it does. It pushes seven piercing, eight sneak attack. Okay, Full seven. 15. Perfect. Thank you. Yes. So as okay. you throw the first one and it moves, you you like have the foresight that it's gonna like dodge out of the way so you wing that other one towards it and it like right as it gets away from your other one the dagger catches it in the jaw and it screeches anything else um yeah lyra's gonna take like half a step backwards and she's not in range of it right? sure yeah correct um, and just like make sh like get a better view because she doesn't like being under this thing, so she wants to not be under it. That makes sense. So she's probably just gonna move there. Okay. Just just a little bit backwards, just you know. Perfect. All right, so dizzy. The thing next to you is still screeching, as is uh, Twiggy's. Uh, bagpipes uh, the one above you is now also screeching because it has a dagger sticking out of its face and Lyra has leapt back out of the way what do you do I'll hold my action like okay. if it drops down then I will swing at it but for now it's not really doing anything except for screaming so. okay fair enough Lyra hates the noise make it stop <laughs> um, Lilith, what is Lilith going to do? Well, she's going to pull, finish pulling this thing out of the hole. Did that roll through? I don't think it did. There we go. And it is going to try to resist that. which it does not. Uh, so this one is now free of the hole. Uh, it continues to screech and kind of gurgle as she um, holds it. It is grappled by her. And I think she's, hmm. I feel like I know what her initial answer would be, but maybe I won't moonbeam quite yet. <laughs> uh... Do, do, do. She is going to. Nope, nope, that was an action to do the other thing. So she's not going to do anything else. Which brings us to the Meriketh. Um, the one that Lilith is holding is going to try to bite her. Ah, it's going to try and. Yeah, it's going to attack her. Um, so. Dizzy, you see this thing just like begin to claw and try to bite Lilith. Um, one claw goes wide, it just slashes across her armor. The other one like smashes into the rock and you see like bits of fingernails and stuff break off. Um, mm -hmm. But then it leans forward and bites for three piercing. Can I change this? I cannot. Okay. The one on the ceiling skitters. One, two, three, four. Uh, to there, pulls the dagger out of its face and like throws it over here mm -hmm. and is going to try and attack Lyra lovely uh, 
I'm assuming a nine and 11 are going to miss. Yeah. Okay. Yes, <laughs> uh, does an 18 hit you? Does an 18, it does, yes. Okay. So it does manage to bite you for three piercing. Okay. And while that's going on further down, you do notice uh, sounds of more emerging from holes in the walls. Perfect. Love that. Love it. <laughs> Okay, so that'll bring us back around to Twiggy. Okay, well, I mean, they're they're becoming violent. They did bite both Lyra and Lilith. But, I mean, we are on the verse about the time when the winter's wind bit me so cold, you know, and then the river flowed backwards through the... the darkest parts of my soul etc etc um this is usually where you like you know bite the people next to you um as, as part of the audience participation of the song um it doesn't look like they're really biting them that badly um i'm gonna dodge but one more stanza uh, more of them are coming let's see what they do Pretty sure they're here to listen. Okay. Yeah. So you're dodging and playing your dodging. song. Playing the next stanza, yeah. Okay. I mean, they start getting more violent then, and especially if they're out of out of uh, out of the parts where they're supposed to be doing the audience participation. I'll do something about it, I think. But uh, right now, I think it's okay. They're fine. Okay. Uh, so dizzy, you. Uh, you technically said when that one comes down, but it was out of your range. But the other one that L Lilith is holding attacked her. Did you want to use your held action to attack that one instead? Yeah, I'll do that. Sure, go ahead and do that. And we'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. That will absolutely hit. So is that 12 total? Uh, I think so, yeah. Okay. Solid strike. Nice. All right, Lyra, it is your turn. What do you do? Okay. Well, is the one that bit her, like, next to her now? Uh, the one that bit Lyra? Yes. It, uh, yeah. it crawled down, essentially crawled across the, the okay. ceiling and then down and next to you. Ooh, okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um, she's just like they haven't. They've only been biting them, right? And like they're supposed to go see the Marrakesh Queen, so it's like maybe, yeah, uh, you know. So she's just gonna like kind of like strong arm the one next to her, right? Like against the wall, Be like cut them out, <laughs> right in its face. I totally forgot that. Kaelin and Yona were there, even though they're right there on the screen. <laughs> so let's do... Uh... So do you want to try and grapple it? Is that what you're doing? Yeah, she just kind of wants to like try to like pin it against the wall a little bit. Like, just like, cut it off. <laughs> Go ahead and uh, do a... Um, I believe it has to be athletics on your part. Does. I think it does, yes. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh and no. Then I can choose athletics or dex. Uh. <laughs> so yeah, oh, it's man. it's 20 is going to outdo your 3. I know. <laughs> I know. You, I knew Shocker. I know you were thought maybe your 3 would would make it, but <laughs> um yeah, it's it sees you coming uh oh. as you reach forward it just dodges to the side. Um But she does still shout at it, you know, like, so, I don't know, maybe it understands them, maybe not. Who knows? <laughs> so what? It's funny, because, so we're on episode 23, and when we did session zero, we were like, we're going to do crits and, like, crit and, and, uh, <laughs> and, and fumble, yeah. 
skill checks were going to have bonus and negative things happen with them. So even if like a, a, a CR 25 and you got like a 23 by a natural crit, you, you wouldn't make it all the way, but you'd have something cool happen. But in, yeah. in the same way, something bad happens. <laughs> so what, what happens when you do, when you try and grab this creature? Uh, you know, um, Lyra goes to grab this creature and like, she's, it's screaming at her and she's screaming at it. And it kind of stops and then screams at her again. So Lyra screams at it and she reaches for it. She just kind of like settles for it, like right into the wall. Gotcha. Right into the wall. So it's going to get, uh, let's say you kind of, you can either take a little damage or it gets advantage on one of its attacks against you next turn. She'll take like like a point of damage for okay. slamming her face into the wall. <laughs> yeah, you hear a little crack in your nose. Definitely hurts. You don't know if you've broken it, but it definitely um, doesn't feel pleasant. You see yeah, some stars dancing right. around. All right. Uh, so that would be your action. Do you have any bonus actions or movement that you'd like to use? Um, I think. She wants to, like... <sighs> no, I think she's going to hold for now. She's probably just, like, you know... Seeing you're, like, stars, you're, right? Like, oh, you know, like, pinching her nose and is like... Because, like, they're not, like, attacking them that hard, so she's not that concerned. Right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Dizzy, uh, you hear this resounding crack and you notice like Lyra's face bounce off the wall next to you or nearby. Um, and so essentially these, essentially that happened. Does that look about right as you bounce yourself yeah. off the wall? Okay. Uh -huh. um, Lilith is still holding the one next to you in a grapple. Uh, the the keening noise of Twiggy's song of his people, one of the songs of his people, are continuing. What would you like to do? I will use dissonant whispers on the one that Lyra is fighting. Okay. A wisdom save. Got a 17. Okay. Well, it definitely succeeded. Okay. Um, let's see. But it takes half damage. Oh, that is all the damage. The dice are not your friends today. Any of <laughs> no. you. No. No. <laughs> no, they're really not. <sighs> uh, it kind of shakes its head as it's like some whispers go through its head and it looks around a little confused but it does not uh run away and you get the feeling it made it save is there anything else you'd like to do no i think that's it for now okay <laughs> uh we come to lilith who is not very happy about this so uh, she is going to, uh, she is going to go ahead and, um, moonbeam. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Right? And she's oh, going to drop that. Uh, here. Ah. Just kidding. <laughs> JK. Right. Uh, she drops it there. So that one needs to make a save at the beginning of its turn, I believe. Indeed. Um, yeah, and she's just going to hold on to the other one. So it is their turn now. The Merikith that is in the Moonbeam will make a con save. Or it won't. 
make a con save. And you notice that the the light from it just like the light that comes down from the ceiling um, almost like it's passing through the stone and it just gently like to you Lyra it just looks like it's gently kind of like a little bit of moonlight basking but the skin on this thing just begins to boil and it shrieks and crumbles to the ground <laughs> moonbeam Him. Uh, the one that Lil is holding is going to try and attack her once again. Uh, just <laughs> it just is having a hard time because she's holding it kind of at arm's length and it's thrashing about. <laughs> uh, from down the way, you notice more coming. It's not going to walk into the light. What am I thinking? <laughs> uh, those three move forward. The one that is next to Kalen is going to go ahead and attack him. Now they start getting all the high rolls on the NPC. <laughs> of course. Right? Okay, oh, Kaylin, your armor class fails all of those. Excellent. Uh, Lyra, you're closest. You see um, on the other side of Kaylin, this thing comes scurrying up, and then it just like lets into him, hits him with both claws, and then bites him. Uh, Kaylin stumbles back, and you hear him like brokenly trying to like say something you it's hard to understand um it sounds like it's a different language but it doesn't sound like even he's speaking it very well like um four eight eleven damage all right that'll bring us back to the top of the turn twiggy what do you do uh, Twiggy's getting irritated uh, because this is where they're supposed to be swaying. Swaying is supposed to be happening right now, and it's not happening. This is fighting, and this is not happening until stanza forty-seven, uh, when you know the lover of the of the the third star. I mean, you know, you know the story. Uh, I mean, I do. Yeah, right. Oh, everybody knows <laughs> the story. Jesus, I mean, anybody who's anybody knows that story. Um, so uh, he's. He, He's gonna crackle with a little bit of energy there. Uh, he's gonna he's gonna like stop playing for a second to, to yell at the spider people to cut it out. And cast fairy fire on them. Uh, tell them that he's playing. We're back to playing. Dex save, correct? It is, yeah. And what is your DC? You know, it's a great question. I have no idea. <laughs> Let's see here. Is it on this sheet? Of course. Well, that would be one of charisma. Charisma, what is it? Uh, is it. So you're. 8 plus charisma. No, that's, that's attack. It's uh, just 8. Per, eight yeah, plus 8 attack. plus your charisma plus 2. That's to attack, right? So it's 10. Plus your charisma? Is that how that works? No, it's eight plus two, which is your proficiency plus your charisma. Okay, that works too. Uh, Eleven. Ele your charisma is one. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, two of them make it. Uh, this middle one that's kind of in between them definitely didn't see anything coming, and it just like <laughs> illuminates. <laughs> Let's see, what good illumination thing do we have here? Mm, that looks illuminating. Look at him shine. <laughs> right? Uh, and then you go back to playing? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I look irritated. Uh, and I'm kind of giving a point to look at everybody. Because uh, this is not how this, this whole audience participation thing is supposed to be going. Uh, yeah. Okay. If I have to stop one more time, if I have to stop one more time, turning this car around. I am turning this car around. 
Uh, Lyra. Um, so the light next or nearby you melts the one that was attacking you. Three more have moved forward, one of them attacking Kaelin. And you can hear the one that uh, uh, Lilith is holding essentially is screeching and trying to attack. But you just hear like the sounds of claws on metal as it bounces off her, her armor. What do you do? Can she like tell what language they're speaking? Like is it something she's ever heard before? It does not sound like anything that you've ever heard before, but with your passive, you do you did hear as they were running up, um, this group was okay. was chittering to e- to each other. Um okay. and in that you kind of caught what sounded like words that it sounds like Kaylin is trying to uh, emulate, maybe. Okay. So he's trying to speak whatever language they're speaking. Um, Lyra's going to try to, like, put herself kind of between... Uh, she's going to, like, step over the one that's, like, half disintegrated anyways, right? Um, and kind of try to come over here, if possible. So and you'd like, be in the moonbeam there, but if oh you want, no. are you trying to get in between Kaylin and? Yeah, yeah, kinda. Why don't you do a Dex save for me? Okay. And we'll have if you. Oh yeah. Um, so you kind <laughs> of move in a manner that you don't push him backward, so he like stumbles and falls. But right. it's like you work your way in between. So is there okay? Yeah. All yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. And that's part of your so, movement, so you still have an action. Yeah. Right. So, and then she's just going to, I mean, to try to disengage, like, them from Kaylin, like, she's going to take her daggers and just, like, swipe at them. Like, again, she's trying to tell them, like, cut it out. <laughs> but, like, obviously they can't understand her. But she will swipe at them with her daggers. Okay. Um, where's my roll? Oh. Well, she has her second one, so. <laughs> oh, even even better. Even better. Uh, so, let's see. Oh. Um, because it's not a skill one, we didn't really say anything about doing. Yeah, yeah so let's. Uh, you, you just fail on that one. That's an auto yeah. fail. Okay. So, uh, you, you try to swipe and. Uh, the extra time it took you to kind of move Kaylin out of the way uh, gave the other one enough time to just dodge your dagger swipes. Anything else? She's going to look back to uh, Dizzy and Lilith and make sure that they're okay. Okay. Right? Like, I believe yeah. Lilith is looking fine. She has like one bite that's kind of bleeding in from her, like uh, the the nape of her neck, but and I believe okay. Dizzy looks good. Is that right? Okay. Okay. She's mostly just making sure that they also aren't being swarmed by things like that might have to come up from behind. Yeah. You know what I mean, yeah, it definitely looks like these are coming. The ones you see currently are coming from ahead of you. Okay. And okay. I think actually it might be too far. Yeah. Yeah, so essentially you notice the three that are in front of you. Gotcha. Okay. That that's it? it for Lyra. Okay. Yeah, it. Dizzy. Um it looks like Lyra is facing off against three, one of which is glowing with magic. Um the one next to you is still being grappled by Lilith. And it looks like Kaylin and uh Yona are getting ready to do something as well now that i have remembered to roll initiative for them <laughs> okay i think i will take a swing at the one that um lilith is grappling okay what is with the, the dice oh, the today like Gosh. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> uh, anything else you want to do? Sorry, that was loud. Um, <laughs> I will use my bonus action to give 
uh, Lyra Bardic Inspiration. Nice. <laughs> and that's a D6? Or are you up to a D8 now? Uh, it's still a D6. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, so at the end of your turn, Kalen um, has kind of stumbled back. Uh, he had his bow out, and now that he's been pushed back, um, he raises the bow at the one who attacked him. Um, he says, this is really not a good idea, but he goes ahead and shoots the other one, and, or shoots at that one. Um, it has a little bit of cover from Lyra standing between you. And it wouldn't have hit anyway. Uh, he's worried about hitting Lyra, and so he's kind of like trying to aim around you, and the shot just goes wide. Yona had his sword out, so he's going to step out or step up next to Lyra and take a swing with that. Uh, unfortunately, seems a little awkward in his grip, and he also misses. But now he is engaged for your roguishness, Lyra. Which brings us to Lilith, um, who just kind of shakes her head, moves her moonbeam over here. Um, I don't remember. Is moonbeam, is moving that an action or a bonus action? Does anyone know off the top of their head? I don't know if I it know is an action to move it. Okay, so that is her action. She just keeps a hold of the one in her hand, and that brings us to their turn. So they need two con saves from her moonbeam. Con, con, con. Both will fail. <laughs> and we'll take... Nine damage. Okay. Um, the one that's lit up is going to move over here. This one's going to move here. However, it does take its claw attacks at you, Lyra. Yes, well, that makes sense. <laughs> it is where she is. <laughs> right. Um, but it's going to try and bite Yona. I'm assuming that 10 misses, but does a 17 hit you? It does. 10 does miss, but 17 does hit, yes. Okay, so you'll take 5 slashing from its claws as it scoots Oof. past you and then it bites Yona for five Oof. okay uh, that was their turn that one moved over there um, the one that's moved on top of the one that melted is going to take all of its attacks at Lyra So I've got a two fifteens and an eighteen. Uh, you beat it, you beat it. So all three hit. Gotcha. So that is eleven seventeen damage. Lyra is not looking good. Okay. Um, she she kind of uh, this happens and like you know how you like you have those like one two punches. She like happens and all of a sudden she's just like swaying on her feet. Like she is, she is not good. <laughs> Make a charisma save. Oh my god. <laughs> Great. I'm assuming you exactly are you are under half exactly. of right. Oh nice. Exactly what she nice. wants right now. Uh you have you are under half your hit points, correct? No, yeah. Okay, just uh, verifying. Okay, uh barely any left. 
we will we will come back to you in a moment uh that one did that uh you hear kind of uh it's almost coming kind of distant you hear kaylin shout out we need help over here uh this one is going to move up and attack yona claw claw bite um and it's going to hit twice for eight damage as it just kind of shreds through his thin leather armor and the one that lil is is holding is just going to try and attack her oh oh uh the first claw that it swipes at it's the one that it kind of broke earlier and it just clangs off of her armor but i believe the other two will well the other one will hit i think yep uh and then so as it claws it like just kind of gouges under the the like one of the the seams in her armor well the the meeting points for six slashing and then it just chomps into her neck again you can hear it like chewing away for a crit which only does six fortunately So that is 12. Still, she is not looking very good either. And I believe that is all of their turns bringing us to Twiggy. So Twiggy, a little bit of blood splatters onto your bagpipes. And you notice that Lilith is kind of squirting blood in your direction. I mean, Twiggy uh, throws his bagpipes on the ground like a meh sound like when they impact uh he lights up like a christmas tree uh flies into a rage uh so mad that they are not doing what they're supposed to be doing <laughs> why, uh, why, it, uh, why, the, I don't know why it's rolling twice it's crazy uh but i like teleport that's great um, right. Uh, so, uh, he will... He's gonna fly over here. Bang. He's going to... Stab. Excuse me. Stab that thing. In the face. In the face. You will stab it in the face with that roll. <laughs> right in the face. For six points of face stabbing damage, and then as a bonus action, uh, will uh, let's see was it 30, 30 feet? Real quick, does that have your rage worked into nope, it? I'm uh, using Dex, uh, so Dex does not count. Gotcha. You don't yeah, do the yeah. extra rage damage if you're using dex? Yeah, only strength attacks. Interesting. Uh, I know, that's okay. really uh, deeply unfortunate. It should just be kind of all out. You know, you're raging. You're right? Raging. Um, and but, then, you know, I'm going with dex. And then you I'm said you're going to teleport to where? Uh, let's see here, it's 30 foot, right? Correct. Stab that in the face. Well, that was on the wall, right? Uh, no, they're all on the ground at this point. Excellent. So, if I stab in the face here, and I can teleport here. Yeah. So I'll stab that in the face and teleport over here. Uh, ball of chaotic Christmas lights. Superman. So bad. Also, Matt, I can't get my extra damage on my dex. Ah! Right? <laughs> so... Here's the thing. <laughs> yep. You need to teleport to a place you can see. Oh, I can't see that spot. And you can't <laughs> see that spot because 
Lilith, who is granting you the dark vision within 30 feet of herself, is... That's that's one square too many, sorry. <laughs> we'll, go, we'll go right here. Okay. Christmas tree versus Christmas tree. Yeah. You'll have advantage on that guy. I do. <laughs> do. Uh anything else? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna uh, be loudly shout singing the uh, the lyrics in Sylvan. Uh, to the song that people are supposed to be singing along with uh, and uh, just occasionally there's like you know a little bit of weird arcane chaos magic spewing out of his mouth like gotcha um, because you teleported over there that one doesn't get an attack of opportunity perfect I believe that's it yeah that's it okay so Lyra there is a very bright uh, Mariketh next to you that has now been joined by a very bright fairy that is spewing words and magic. Uh, it looks like Yona is facing off against two of them. There is a moonbeam that will probably move in the near future. What would you like to do? Um, well... She's almost dead, so realistically, I don't think she can do much. Okay. Um, she, she, when Twiggy kind of appears, she'll just like look and like blink, and like she also is like very gravely wounded, um, just like Lilith was, you know. Um, so pretty gravely wounded, and she'll just look at Twiggy, and just. She just, she can't do anything, honestly. Like she might just like try to like weakly slap at one of the things, but like she she doesn't have much of a she's not gonna give up. Like she'll be like Twiggy and like slap at the thing, but like try to get his attention a little bit. Okay. Uh do you want to dodge or I mean she'll try to like step back out of the line of fire a little bit, but like I, there's Realistically, I doubt there's much dodging she can do unless it's just like falling over. Gotcha. Uh, you could, so you could take the disengage and just kind of fall over backwards to like here, so that. Yeah, she's she's gonna yeah she's gonna she's gonna take that. Um, okay. And she's gonna, yeah, she's absolutely going to take her cunning action um, and just disengage and just like stumble backwards. Okay. Uh, nice. Anything else? Um, honestly, I think that's it for her. Okay. She might try to, like, push a hand against one of the scratch marks, but, like, that's it. She doesn't really know much medicine, but she's just trying to stop the bleeding. So as you stumble back this way, you've, like, kind of moved in a way that it doesn't get it. Neither of them get an attack of opportunity on you. But you hear this, like, sound of, like, hooves clopping on stone Great. and you just feel Great. very disconnected as you move that way and you push your hand up against mm -hmm. one of the the cuts that's kind of like bleeding profusely and you notice that there's like some thick brown fur covering your arm Great. dizzy <laughs> uh your passive perception is 15 or is it lower it's 11. 11. One of these days I'll remember that. Uh, you don't <laughs> notice You don't notice the change that is overcoming Lyra. But you do notice that that whole area is kind of um, a, a bunch of people milling around. And this Merketh is glowing. What would you like to do? I would like try to use um, Dissonant Whispers again. Okay. Which one are you focusing on? Uh, focus on the one that Twiggy is fighting. Okay. Um, I will say, as you look that direction, just if it 
matters. Uh, both the one that Twiggy are fighting and the one that is here have been damaged. This one hasn't been damaged at all. Um, just in case that helps you or or changes your your mind there. Yeah, actually, I think I will attack uh, the undamaged one. Okay. Wisdom save, is that correct? Yes. It's a 14. Just makes it. But much better on your damage there. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it kind of swats at the air and grabs its head um, as the mm -hmm. as the damage sets in, and it looks around wi widely, wildly um, for what's causing the noise in its head, but it does not run away. Anything else? No, nothing else. Okay. Uh, Kaylin, who is also not looking great, um, is going to... Uh, he just drops his bow and pulls his short sword out and takes a swing at this one next to him and uh, Twiggy. And is going to hit. Um, he just jabs the sword into its side. Uh, its blood kind of spatters out. Uh, and then Kaelin kind of weakly pulls it back out. And nods. Like he looks at you, Twiggy. <laughs> and he's like, you got this, right? <laughs> uh, Yona. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, he is gonna take a swing at the one in front of him. He doesn't look very confident about it. And he isn't very confident about it. He swings, it goes wide. Um, but he seems to be kind of trying to put himself between the two in front of him and Lyra. Lilith, seeing all of this happening, I believe she can. Nope, nope, she can't. Um, <laughs> hmm. She drops the one that she's holding and moves over here. That one's going to get an attack of opportunity. But will miss as it's just kind of like wobbling on its feet. It wasn't expecting her to let it, it go. Um, she runs over to Lyra lays her hand upon Lyra's back as quickly as possible. It's kind of like one of those <laughs> and trying to not <laughs> upset her. Oops, sorry. Uh, you're going to get 10 hit points back. Okay. Lyra is still under half health. Okay. FYI, for your own Good, yeah. DM brain. <laughs> Good to know. Um, and as she does that, she like looks at your back. She's like, why are you all hairy? <laughs> and that will be her turn. Uh, this one stands up like fully uh, after L Lilith dropped him. Um, turns to Dizzy. And actually slinks away. Hmm. Uh, like, it's looking at, at you, Dizzy, but it kind of, like, backs up cautiously. Do you take an attack of opportunity? Uh, no. I'll let it be. Okay. Hmm. 
It does back up to there. This one, however, is going to release the rage upon the rage machine. Does an 11 hit Twiggy? Okay. Does a 23 hit Twiggy? I mean, just this time. Just this, just this one time. So <laughs> it slashes at you, but you're raging, so you'll take half. Is that correct? Unless your rage is, is weird, because... My rage is not weird. It's perfect. It's uh, perfect. <laughs> yeah, so it, it it's it's bite... Oh, sorry. This one was its bite. It leans forward and chomps at you, but, like, your hide is just so strengthened by your anger that you'll only take three piercing. Oh, yeah. Great. Oh no! <laughs> okay, I have this feeling. Da, da, da. Where are you, Kalen? So, that is 10, 13. Oh, Kalen is still up. Uh, 17 damage. Um, that one just lets into Kalen, who is definitely bleeding after it's done, um, and he's kind of having a hard time staying up. Looks a lot like Lyra did just a moment ago, where he's just kind of swaying on his feet. He does not sprout fur and such <laughs> from his body or grow hooves. Yeah. Um, and then this one here is going to use a claw on yona and is going sorry is going to attack uh lyra with another claw and bite so the first one is 17 against yona will hit for four kaylin or uh it will claw it will critically miss you with its claw <laughs> and bite will be a 12. no all right I believe that is all of their goes, which brings us back around to Twiggy. Uh, Twiggy briefly goes psychedelic, kind of like a <laughs> wavy, sparkly, uh, fractal sort of looking uh, uh, trans-dimensional fey, uh, and uh, stab it. It's gonna get stabbed. Stab. So as like these lights kind of glimmer off of the, the the walls around you, much like a disco ball. <laughs> I think both of those are gonna miss actually. Well, only one should be rolling. I don't know why it's doing that. It's really weird. Oh yeah, you're not one level to extra attack. So close. I know, so close. Um it will miss anything else. Oh, you had advantage though, so it it still would have rolled the second one, uh, but it still misses. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Um, I'm gonna try and say something, but I think he's just gonna like vomit bubbles. Um, that as they pop, there are like like physical words that form and then dis dissolve. Like <laughs> cotton candy meets water. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> uh, so mad too he's so mad ah uh, can't even get the spell right no one's singing or dancing ruined ruined, ruined. lyra Nailed it. um uh, okay so lyra is still not doing so hot um She's gonna turn to Lilith first and foremost and just kind of give Lilith like a little bit of a nod. Um, but then she's like gonna look at herself because she has fur, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, and it's kind of it's kind of patchy, like it's sprouting, but it's not full on. You're not like 
covered in fur yet, but you do notice that like your feet have shifted into hooves. It looks like yeah. your legs are starting to bend backwards. Right. So in Sylvan, uh, so Twiggy could understand her, but Lyra will just say some very choice expletives in Sylvan. <laughs> uh, and they probably sound beautiful, right? And, and alluring. Right. Um, and Twiggy, you notice that a lot of them are similar to the ones that you just had spewing out in your bubbles. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. They're, they're probably pretty similar. Uh, and uh, Lara will just shake her head and literally stomp a hoof, right? Because she right. has one now. Clop. Um, you know, vaguely, like, reach up to see if she has antlers or not, but maybe not. Uh, you, you just kind of absentmindedly raise your hand over your scalp. You do feel like little nubs, but they don't even like stick out of not. your hair. Okay. Yeah, you don't they're feel not. a rack of uh, horns on your head. Horns. Yeah. Okay. Well, for the moment, she's going to uh, try to stay close to, close to Lilith. Okay. But um, the one that just struck Twiggy pretty hard, uh, she's going to... Um... She's gonna, she's gonna throw her dagger at it. Like, okay. Pretty hard. So she, it would is. be at disadvantage because you're in melee, but that right. one is glowing, so it will cancel out your disadvantage for a straight roll. Okay. Okay. Straight roll. And that will hit. Okay. Now, does she get her sneak attack because Twiggy is also in melee? So that's a really good question because anytime you have disadvantage, you don't get it. Yeah, you I'm gonna say. You don't need advantage. Wait, you don't need advantage on the attack roll. No, no. Anytime you, you have, have disadvantage, it removes your sneak attack. Mm, but right. I'm going to say yes, yes, you have your sneak attack. Okay. Because it's. Let me roll that damage. It's technically canceling out the disadvantage, so. Right. Whew. Um. So as you yeah. fling your dagger at it and kill it, how does that happen? Uh, I mean, it's glowing, right? Uh, so she she kind of, like, she's so angry. She, like, is so, like, tunnel vision focused on this glowing one, right? Because the yeah. other two are kind of, like, in the dark, so she's, like, the glowing one. Yeah. She hears Twiggy also sprouting his own expletives and Sylvan and, you know, the bubbles popping and disappearing. She just kind of, like, takes a dagger and she probably has, like, one hand to, like, to, to her fur bleeding, right? She just, like, shut <laughs> you know, and she just like throws it and probably like clocks it in like shoulder or whatever wherever it's most gravely wounded um she's just like make it stop okay it does stop indeed and falls to the floor anything else uh no not for now not for now she's gonna okay. she's, she will retrieve that dagger at some point but she's she's gonna leave that and she, she's gonna hold her uh, bonus action. Okay, uh, your oh man, I just forgot what's called your your rogue thing where you get to take the your your bonus action to do a thing, disengage. Mm -hmm. it, right. It's disengage, disengage, hide or what? Dash. Dash, but not dodge. That's too um... bad. Is it because you could dodge, but, but she... I don't think so. Every detail. Uh, she just has like a couple other things that I'm making sure don't negate that too. Um, where is she? While you're no, checking on check. that, I'm just gonna have yes. Dizzy is next. It's so not dodge. No. Okay, gotcha. Sorry. Thanks for checking. Uh, so Dizzy, you see that one backing away from you. It looks like it was it was going slow, so it looks like it it essentially dashed away from you, um, mm -hmm. moving slowly. Uh, it's keeping an eye on you, but it looks like it's getting ready to turn and run. Um, it looks like Lyra just took out the one that Twiggy was fighting, and there are two left that are kind of flanking Yona over here. Kalen um took a heavy hit and Lilith is also not doing great. What do you do? Uh 
Uh, I'll move there and okay. then uh, attack the one that's like in front of me. Perfect. No. <laughs> I feel like it would be good damage if it is. Right. <laughs> so as you run forward and you, you know, try to stab it, it just swiftly moves off to the side and you miss anything else um no okay Kalen who was doing uh, all right is ble bleeding not breeding profusely bleeding <laughs> profusely um <laughs> He just looks like a little lost and he's just going to stab the one in front of him and he'll hit. That is this one. All right. Uh, he stabs it again. You know what? He is. He does stumble back over here behind Twiggy. Uh, he gets an attack of opportunity on him. Swipe. And it does hit him for seven. He barely makes it. Uh, he just falls against the wall behind you, Twiggy, um, leaving kind of a smear of blood as he's like trying to hold himself up. Yona calls out, Kaylin, no! And is going to attack the one that Kaylin attacked. Where are you, Yona? <laughs> so many character sheets. So many. So many. Uh, but he just, he's so worried about his friend that he misses entirely. Lilith is not sure what to do. Um, so many people are bleeding profusely. She's going to move <laughs> that there. And she doesn't have a bonus action. Uh -oh. oh, wait. She does have a bonus action. She conjures um, a hammer. Yeah, mm. a hammer. A hammer, you say? It's a it's a glowing hammer. <laughs> it glows bright green. It is right there. And it takes a swing at this one. Oh, hang on. This one here and hits it for seven force. Uh, Dizzy standing in front of it. You can hear the crunch of it's like kind of odd carapace and some gore kind of splats out its back and like mm -hmm. from its shoulder as the hammer hits it pretty soundly um that was her turn okay so then at the beginning of their turn one of them has to make a con save it will make it unfortunately but we'll still take damage from the moonbeam Oh, nice. Um, nice. <laughs> so that'd be, we'll call it nine. We'll call that nine. Uh, even though it kind of stands there and takes the brunt of it, it looks like it's going to shrug it off and then its eyes kind of go wide and it falls over smoking and dies. Yeah. 
the one down by Dizzy sees that, looks behind him and sees the glowing hammer, um, mutters something that you can't really understand. Um, Lyra, you get a feeling it's in that kind of chittery language. Right. Uh, and it disengages... and runs off into the dark. Dizzy and Lyra, you can both see that. I am not sure Twiggy can't. Twiggy, it runs out of your line of sight as well as everyone else's. So just Lyra and uh, Dizzy can see it now. Twiggy, what do you do? Uh, well, I mean, there's the smell of a nine course meal served at once in the air <laughs> uh, and briefly he's wearing a bow tie and gloves uh, and a monocle uh, and given that he has nothing to attack there is like a moment where uh, he's kind of somewhere else and blinks uh, looks confused um, and I, I think just kind of hovers there for a second, like taking in the carnage. Uh, clears his throat <clears> and <throat> takes the dodge, dodge action. Okay. So, Lyra, you notice this spectacle that is Twiggy, uh, mm -hmm. and then it just, you know, goes away, and Twiggy is Twiggy again and looks a little like just plain Twiggy? Which isn't really like you know saying common, but you know, plain Definitely Twiggy, different. right? <laughs> um, the the glow of the moonbeam is still there, kind of illuminating all of you. You see the one that has run off into the darkness, and if you look behind you, you can see. Oh, actually, no. Sorry, retconning. This one ran off. And would have gone out of your line of sight. Your your dark vision is sixty, correct? Yes. And correct. and dizzy is yours also sixty? Yeah. Okay. Um, so you would have noticed that this one dashed out of your uh, vision range. Okay. Uh, so Lyra, what do you do? Um. Well, the things are gone for now, um, and she's going to look to everybody and say, let's take a minute before continuing on, because, and she'll just, like, gesture to herself and, you know, and Yona and Kaylin and just everybody who is not doing great. Yeah. <laughs> and and um, as you're, as you're kind of doing that, um... You no you noticed that like you were having this transformation, something you couldn't really control, but after you were healed and and were even though you didn't go back above half, um right. it kind of like halted it. It hasn't right. it hasn't gone back yet though. Um okay. so there is that. She that that that's that's for another time when she's not about to die. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so you know she 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 notices it, but she's just pretending like it isn't happening, and the rest of them better do the same. Like that's okay. like the look <laughs> on her face. <laughs> like, this is my normal fursuit. Nothing, nothing's happening. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um. Any, it, sorry, before I move on, any, so no, no actions, just kind of no, calming. She's just, okay. Yeah. Yep. Um, is anyone going to take any actions from here or should we go out of combat? Yeah, I don't think there's anything I can do. Okay. I mean, you could chase after that one, or the one that went off behind you. I don't want to stop oh. you from doing that, but if you aren't going to do that, we can step out of combat. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So, Dizzy, as it comes to be uh, your 
technical turn, everyone kind of calms down. Uh, you notice everyone has at least some damage. Did you take damage? Uh, no, nothing. I, nothing tried to hit me. Yeah, everything around you is bleeding or dead. Um, the 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 spiritual hammer winks out, as does the moonbeam. But it, you you did notice in the color of those that um, everyone is bleeding. Uh, even Lilith, although Lilith's blood is kind of a thicker, darker. Almost like <laughs> icker as opposed to the blood that everyone else is bleeding. That's probably not normal. Right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, she kind of notices you glancing and she looks down. Oh, it's fine. What do you all do? Since Lilith's player isn't here, Lyra's just like tucking that note away right. that Lilith is bleeding black ooze until the world's back. It isn't necessarily <laughs> black ooze, it's just much darker ooze. Uh huh, uh huh. Lyra's turning into an angry goat, and Lilith is a zombie, it's fine. <laughs> um, Yona's gonna run over to, to Kaelin and kneel down and inspect their wounds. Um, and Kaelin is just kind of like slumped up, slumped up against the wall. Uh, does anyone want to do anything? Go retrieve my bagpipes. I suppose I can play the song of rest if people are gonna, I guess, if we're gonna take a short rest or something. Yeah, I mean, Lyra's gonna try to like use some bandages to just like wrap around open wounds and just like get it to stop. <laughs> sure. Yeah. So as you bandage yourself up. Um, you do hear in the direction that the one skittered off on the right side of the map, not the other one. Um, there, there is some chittering. Again, Lyra, it sounds like that language. And you notice Kaylin kind of glances up weakly um, and looks down that way. Right. Might not be the safest place to take a short rest or any rest, um, but moving mm -hmm. forward may also be difficult in the position you are in right right so like lyra doesn't necessarily know if she wants to even like take a short rest but like just try to heal up just for like two minutes and then you know evaluate <laughs> gotcha yeah so as you're binding wounds and uh twiggy is re uh, sorry lost the word picking up his bagpipes uh, Twiggy, you notice that there's, you know, a blood stain that's definitely going to, it's, the, the blood has soaked into the bag of the bagpipes. Definitely going to well, leave a stain. That's, they're, they're so stained and battered. I mean, they've been thrown, you know, angrily many, many times. It's, it's just another bit of patina. Another fun talking point. Oh, why is your bagpipe, like, bloody red? Well, this one <laughs> Uh, Lilith looks at everyone and uh, says, well, I I could use magic to heal everyone up some, but it is going to be quite a draw on my resources. Well, I'm fine. I don't know what about you guys. I feel <laughs> great. Uh, be a fine. <laughs> Um, I mean, Lyra is not going to say no to some minor healing because, again, she's really not great. Um, but she doesn't want to deplete Lilith too much, and they do still need to keep going. So Yeah, so she has... If this is all correct, which I think it is because you're all level four, she has three first level slots and one second level slot left. Mm. So I'll well, take like a little bit. She'll be like, "Don't tax yourself too much." To Lilith. Uh, she's gonna go ahead and heal Lyra. Four, five. 
Lyra will take it. Lyra will take it. And she <laughs> kneels down next to Kaelin and heals him for nine. Uh, Twiggy is hurt. I think it took three points of damage. Okay. And Dizzy is not hurt at all, correct? Not at all. Okay. <laughs> um, she goes ahead and heals Yona. Do, do, do. Four, five. Uh, after she heals Kaelin, some color returns back to him, and he looks a little uh, less like he's bleeding out. Um, and he says, so we're going to have a problem, because now that we've killed some of them, the queen will know. I don't know how, but she always knows when people have harmed her children. Uh, I definitely would not recommend visiting her without some kind of payment for the, her loss or gift or something. I don't know how you want to phrase it to her. Well, yeah, I mean, usually that's solved with, like, pie. Usually you give them pie. And, I mean, they will just grow back. You know, when the, the next spring rolls around, when the flowers bloom, the fairies will emerge once again. They'll probably die, you see. Mm -hmm. uh, probably the same for these things. They just, what are they, come out of holes? When the holes open up they emerge that's, that's how it works right he blinks his very large eye at you and then looks back at the others confusedly what's he talking about Lyra's just gonna kind of half shrug and be like if you figure it out please let me know <laughs> like she never knows yeah, which week he's not. talking about <laughs> Okay, um, I, I do believe we have to continue that way, and he gestures off, but I'm pretty sure there are more down there if my hearing hasn't failed me. Lovely. <laughs> well, do you know how to calm them down? I could try to go ahead of all of you and speak with them. You can talk to them? Kind of. <laughs> I, 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 I know some of the words, but it, it's very hard to pronounce. Um, I was trying to tell them when they rushed us that we were here to see the queen and we were, you know, just friends, but... I think, uh, and he glances at Lilith, I, I think the the other one being frightened uh, had something to do with their anger. And then the Great. it just escalated from there. And Lilith is just like staring at him, just like stone faced. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Lyra is also just like completely like are you shitting me right now you could have talked to them like it's like well i didn't uh, really have a chance to um sorry i guess <laughs> well we should put them back in their holes uh probably i don't know 200 years probably be long enough for them to come back I'm not sure how time works here blink Looks at the others. <laughs> or, you know, talk to them. Though they're dead. The alive ones. Can you talk to the dead? I was uh, just like, the can, ones that are still alive down the tunnel. Can Lilith talk to the dead? Hmm? Mm -hmm. Not today she can't. <laughs> well, I mean, there's a time period in which you can talk to them, like, you just take their head. We'll talk to them later. Well, 
What do you all think? Um, I mean, Lyra would like to send um, send him down to try to talk to them. Um, yeah, that would be nice. Yeah. Is there anything that uh, she's gonna ask this actually in character? Is there anything that we can give you to um, curb their fear or anger? Mm, so I mean, at this point, I I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I'm just I'm gonna go down until uh, you're you all are at like the edge of my vision, and see if I can talk to them from there, and then you know run back here if they decide to not want to work with us. Does that sound fair? Everyone's just quiet. <laughs> I was like, sounds great. Uh, Yona just kind of like grabs his, you know, like grabs his shoulder and like, uh, you'll do great kind of way. So Kaylin is going to head down the tunnel. So at the edge of your vision would be not all that far. Let's see. If you are twiggy and... Lilith and Yona, but uh, that should be the edge of t Dizzy and, and Lyra's vision. Um, and as he gets closer, or as he gets further away as you're watching him, um, you do see him kind of spread his hands out. He did take his bow, but it's slung over his shoulder and his sword is back in its sheath. Um, he holds his hands out open and you hear him begin to make these awkward noises. It's it's like he's trying to make words while clicking like his tongue with his teeth and such. Um, and it sounds kind of like the chittering that these things were making, but he it sounds not as fluent, I guess. Um, and he stops there and seems to be speaking with something beyond your vision. Is there anything that any of you would like to do? Uh, I want to get closer. And okay. Try to see if I can figure out what's going on. So I'll move you to the point where you would see something. It's not very far away from you. Wrong button. So about there at the edge of your vision, you can see that there are a couple of the creatures standing in the, the hallway. Um, they're right at the edge of your vision there. Mm -hmm. uh, and it looks like Kaylin is just standing there talking with them. And every so often you hear their chitters back to his attempts at chitters. Is there anything you'd like to do? Uh, does it look like things are going well? Like... Make an insight <laughs> check for me. It's kind of hard to say. Uh, they aren't rushing Kalen, and he doesn't seem to be... He has kind of a defensive posture, but he's not like reaching for any of his weapons, so it doesn't look like he feels quite like he's going to be attacked yet. Okay. Um, maybe I'll get a little closer. Okay. While you're edging your way up there, uh, Lyra, you can see Kaylin, and you can see t uh, Dizzy moving that direction. Is there anything that you'd like to do? Um... I mean, Lyra probably would also follow Dizzy, um, just to, you know, as a backup to make sure everything is okay, um, and be supportive should things, uh, turn sour. Okay. So, when you are essentially in that column there, uh, you can right. see the other Americas that are down there, uh, and right. Twiggy... Sorry, Dizzy, go ahead and feel, uh, feel free to move your token to where you'd like to move. Um, 
think that's good enough. Okay. So yeah, uh Lilith is gonna move here. One, two, three. Yeah, so she can see um at least you two. She can't right. see Kaylin there. And right. Twiggy with her uh her twilight up, you can also see Dizzy and Lyra, but you can't see Kaylin. Um, and Yona's going to move to there so he can also see what's going on, uh, at least some. Um, is there anything that you'd like to do, Twiggy? I'm going to eat, pull out some rations, and uh, <laughs> muse about uh, the, uh, the, the reincarnation cycle of these creatures. Um, yeah. Spiders. Uh, I mean, you do hear. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go on. Go on. I was gonna say uh, you do hear Yona kind of whisper to Lilith, "It's it's going to eat now." And she just looks at you, and then looks back at Yona and nods, and then goes back to watching what's going on. <laughs> All right. Uh, Dizzy. What do you do as you get to that point? I think actually you might. Right at the edge of your vision, you can see it looks like there's another form there. You can't make out its um, its details, but you get the feeling it's probably another one of those creatures kind of hanging back at that intersection. Okay, are they still just chittering or like yeah, these two that are facing, or that are in the hallway with everyone, are chittering back and forth with Kalen. Um, they're not moving forward or back, and Kalen is, is just kind of standing there at this point. Uh, his hands are dangling loosely at his side. He doesn't look as tense as he did. I think I'll move up and maybe start playing some music so that they think that we're here peacefully. Okay. <laughs> um, you can roll either a persuasion performance or deception if you're trying to deceive them that you're here peacefully. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go with performance. Okay, go ahead and roll it. Nice. Um, as you start walking, you notice that they they begin chittering a little uh, more animatedly at Kaylin, who glances back at you. But as you begin to, like, are you playing your lute? Yeah. So as you begin to strum your lute and, and the music fills the hallway... Um, they do calm a little and they just kind of watch you for a moment as you walk up and they don't run off and they don't attack. Anything else before I move on to Lyra? I'll just keep playing. Yeah. Okay. So Lyra, you can see all that happening. Um, the two that were there all of a sudden get very agitated, but it seems like uh, Dizzy's music has calmed them some. Okay. Um, can she... What is this skill called? Is this... Hold on. Mm. 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 Oh, that's only, only in combat. Never mind. Oh, gotcha. Mm. What? What yeah. is it? Uh, she has insightful. I knew she had something like, that she could roll an insight check oh, against a creature. Gotcha. But it's only for insightful fighting. Yeah. It's not for like a, cool ability, fight. just not so useful yeah. right now. Yeah, not super useful. I I knew it was in. I knew it was insight something. I yeah. just Forgot that it was like combat only. Um, but she. I mean, she would like to roll an insight check to see. Like she's gonna move forward a little bit, not so much like next to Kalen. Okay. But like you know. She, she's back here. Her weapons are away, right? Like, she's kind of cleaned them up, put them away. She doesn't have them in her hands. 
Um, she's probably going to move, like, here so that she can see them better okay. and see if there's anything that she can do to um, perhaps diffuse their agitation a little bit. And also she'll kind of, like, whisper to Kaylin, like, like, for him to, like, ask them like about the queen or like something like what can we give you like you know like see if Kaylin can garner any information about like how do we fix this gotcha gotcha <laughs> um go ahead and roll your insight okay oof so watching them it's they are alien enough in appearance. It's hard to tell features, you know, like as far as emotion right. and stuff. Uh, they don't seem to emote like like humanoids do. Um, right. But you can tell that their chittering is calmer now than it was when, uh, like, like Dizzy kind of uh, agitated them for a moment by starting to walk closer. But now that they know Dizzy isn't a threat and they're kind of eyeing you, you can see their their eyes turn your way every so often. Um, and actually you might also see the other one. Let me just double check. Yeah, you do notice lingering around the corner over there, uh, in that split, there's another one that's just standing and watching. Um, okay. their, their body language, while you can't really tell how things are going for their, their intent, they don't seem hostile right at the moment. Okay. I'll give you that. Okay. Yeah, she will ask Kaylin though to like try to see if there's like something that uh, they can do to uh, fix this. Sure, and you notice his head turn and his like his his larger eye like it doesn't like it's not sticking out, but it definitely like it's it's distorted the way his skull is shaped, and so he doesn't have to turn his head far for him to like look back at you. Um, right. And he nods and goes back to chittering at them. Uh, he seems a little more confident in his. Uh, I don't want to say pronunciations, but the way that he's like delivering the words to them seems less broken now. Um, it might be that you two are there to back him up or that he, things are just going while well, you're not totally sure. Right. Uh, Lilith doesn't like that she can't see, so she is going to move up. Let's see one. She'll move to here. Darn it. <laughs> Sorry. She moved to here so she can see everyone. Three, two, yep. Uh, and Yona is going to move with her. Twiggy, what are you doing? Still oh, eating? Man. I'm a mouthful of rations, and then Lilith moves, and she's my light bulb. Uh, so I think you can technically still see. Technically, yes. Uh, yep, you're right at the edge, edge of it. Right at the edge. So, uh, mouthful, still speaking uh, uh, about my very uh, knowledgeable, well-grounded theories on um, the life cycle of these creatures. Uh, I'm going to land on Lilith's shoulder, munch away. Uh, almost seems like he's forgotten, even while we're down here, he's completely forgotten that there was a conflict. Uh, it's probably a period where he's like, uh, who are these guys again? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, let me just move something real quick here. Dizzy, you notice from a hole behind the others, uh, uh, another of these Mariketh crawls out. And as it gets closer and like moves down to the floor, moves to there, you notice it has some wounds on it. Um, similar to the one that ran off the other direction and it like moves up with these ones and it looks like it's eyeing you Dizzy um, but it doesn't seem to be acting hostile or whatever it's just kind of listening mm -hmm. and after a little while Kalen stops speaking and is just listening as this one on the northern side of the map um, begins to kind of take over the conversation uh, is there anything that any of you want to do 
I'm gonna just keep playing and hoping that that wounded one doesn't ruin whatever's going on. Okay. <laughs> Lyra, is there anything that you want to do? I mean, Lyra just really wants to make sure that they're trying to continue to move forward and they're not just like stuck here. Right? Yeah. Like, yeah. So that's like she's gonna take like another like I don't know five feet of movement forward. Like, okay. Let's go. <laughs> as, as you move forward they don't seem to react like they do look at you just to see what you're doing but they don't seem tense about it um and as you do this northern one that's kind of taking over the conversation uh chitters at the other two including the one that appeared um right. not too long ago they kind of clamor off and and climb up into the holes and disappear. Okay. And uh, Kalen, sorry, I forgot his name for a second there, uh, turns to you, Dizzy, because you're standing next to him. Um, so we're just going to wait here for a few moments while they retrieve their fallen friends. I see um they're not angry with us uh i mean they're not happy with us uh, i feel like <laughs> maybe maybe we just got off to a rough start there obviously uh but moving forward we'll we'll do better to you know interact with them a little calmer uh we need to we definitely need to bring that creature to the queen before we like we need to go find it and and capture it alive and bring it with us um as we'll just call it payment at this point we'll call it payment <laughs> for uh her 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 uh letting us talk to her but also in exchange for the harm that we've done to her children. I see. Uh, apparently this group was actually out looking for the creature. Um, so the, I don't know if they'll find it before us. Let's, let's hope not. Let's just go with that. Let's hope we can find it first. Great. Sounds yeah. great. <laughs> well, I guess let's uh, find this creature then. Okay. So, uh, Twiggy, you do notice that from behind you, uh, there was the hole in the ceiling, and a couple of the America crawl out of that and crawl down and, like, pick up the bodies of the dead ones and crawl into various into different holes and disappear exactly as i uh expected it to go down put it back on the holes it's a matter of time now before they re-emerge you know fresh as a daisy and young again and cycle continue yeah, it's <laughs> beautiful it's beautiful nature at its finest you know you guys can learn a lot uh squishy mortals from uh, these sort of systems. It's a shame that you're not bound to them. <laughs> Why do I get the feeling that like Twiggy grew up in the Feywild next to a large, you know, rock that goes up, in, you know, above a <laughs> savanna, and there's like the circle of life. You go up and you hold the corpse <laughs> over it. Anyway. Yeah, yep, totally. <sighs> All right, so after a short while, um, you hear a keening noise from further on, and this one chitters something at all of you and then goes this way, joining the other one that you can see, and they both disappear around the corner. What do you do? I mean, Lyra's gonna follow them. Um, or at least, at least go, like, this way. 
you know, like she's, she's, she's going. Sure. Yeah. You, you get over there just as they're like going around, um, that, that bend and it looks like there's a straightaway that goes off. Uh, Dizzy, Kalen is kind of watching and he says, well, I, I guess that's about as good as of an outcome as we were going to get from that. Um, they are going to continue looking for the creature. And if we find it first, then we get to present it to the queen. Well, yeah. But how long do we have to wait here? Because it looks like... Oh, uh, I mean, we can go now. Okay. Um, let's go with Lyra, then. Okay. <laughs> So we're hunting a creature. Uh, I don't think you've told us what we're actually hunting. Is it a rabbit? <laughs> a golden stag? Uh, a no, no, neither of those. Snake. No. A, a, a young maiden who's gotten lost, uh, been misled by a unicorn. No, no, none of those. Right, so uh, it would help if we knew what the quarry was. What did they tell you last week? Sorry, I'm trying to remember what they told you. Um, I don't think they told us anything. <laughs> <laughs> so you see uh, Yona is standing next to you. So he kind of glances over at Kaelin. Um, he's like, oh, it's a, a unique creature that... the queen would like to capture right like any other bipedal creature that walks through her realm i.e. you delicious <laughs> tasty portals uh we need to know more than that uh we do we do know it it it, it is bipedal as you say uh, it has two legs um uh, yep yep uh two eyes normal mouth one can only readers. assume so. Yeah, yeah. Uh, speaks words or makes grunting sounds. He looks back at Kaylin. Um, probably it. Uh, I don't really know what it speaks. Have you seen this creature before? I haven't. No. So you don't know what we're looking for. I mean, I don't. I know we would know it when we see it. There's a lot of things that you would know when you see them. Exactly. However, seeing is not always believing, and looks can be deceiving. Right. <laughs> Could you draw it? Uh, no, I've never seen it before. Yes, but surely you have a description of it. Um... I am. I have been told that it will resemble one of the Marikith to a certain extent. But it will be obviously different than those creatures that we just saw. Like one of them with a unicorn horn. Uh, maybe. Oh. Well, that's easy. That's so easy. Well, Wait, excellent. Excellent. Well, let's go find it. Just, just tape it to a body and we'll just bring that to her. Problem solved. I mean, <laughs> we would have to get another body because those bodies are gone. I mean, they're very plentiful, it seems. Like, that's fairly easy. I, I have a feeling she'll know if we fraud her of this. <laughs> I think she knows what it looks like. We just go ask her what it looks like. Let's maybe not appear for her um, until we have time to find this thing. Fair enough. <laughs> Why don't I mean, we ask the, riddle. the creatures? They would know what it looks like since they're also searching for it. Well, they're the ones who told Kaylin uh, 
actually Kaylin could tell you this. Uh, they're the ones who told me that she's looking for it to begin with and generically what it looks like that it will resemble America in certain ways but we should be distinguishable from them interesting alright with that are you going to head deeper into this realm yes yes important question at this tuning fork in the road, because it's bent. <laughs> uh, which direction are you going? Left after the other ones, or right down the way they didn't go? You always take the road less traveled. A poet said that. But then <laughs> another poet said, don't trust poets. <laughs> inside a machine. <laughs> So it's uh, kind of a 50 50. Um, I mean, Lyra will kind of. I won't, for once, look at Twiggy and be like, you're not wrong. I'm uh, never wrong. <laughs> if we go the other direction, we hopefully have a chance of finding the creature before the Mareketh and not at the same time or after. Dizzy, any? Sounds like a good idea. But what do we do if we happen upon uh, the Mayor while also the creature? Like, do we fight them for it, or how do we handle that? Perhaps we work together this time. Yeah, I suppose we probably shouldn't grab them. <laughs> against their will well it just kind of looks at you like <laughs> you're not sure if make an insight check there's a there's a little bit of embarrassment there <laughs> but not a ton <laughs> All right, well, as you come to this fork in the road and you're going to choose to go right, is that correct? I believe so. Yes. All right, you're gonna get, you're gonna head right in the direction that the Merikith did not go and hope to find this creature before them. We'll go ahead and end there for this week. Any questions before we log off? Did I forget something? Does anyone have any announcements, cool things going on? don't think so. All right. I have one. I published uh, <laughs> Spelljammer Creatures of the Cosmos. Creatures of the Cosmos. Now available on DM's Guild. Uh, I'll post a sh link in the show notes on YouTube. Make sure you check that out. Um, it got its first five-star review today. I'm so happy. Um, Yay. Yeah, thanks. Um I think that's it for this week. We will be back next Wednesday, 2.30 p.m. Eastern. Uh, if you are watching this on YouTube, um, everything goes live on YouTube on Saturdays at, I think it's 1.30 Eastern. Yeah, 1.30 Eastern. Um, yeah, check it out. Make sure you follow everyone on the various social medias, see what they're up to, support their various projects, and we will see you next time. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Bye. Wave until it's.